program that ESL started in uh, 2013 um, is a very important uh, aspect of its educational activities. So the principle is that, um, I was going to say older, but I'm going to use experience. A more experienced and knowledgeable hepatologist almost takes under their wing um, a young scientist or physician in the early but fairly critical um, phase of their development. So we normally look for people under the age of 35 who are easel members who appear to be committed to a career in hepatology. So the mentee and the mentor form a relationship and that's what's key. It's a very personal relationship between the two. Um, and they look at all aspects of their work, their career and their future. Um, the easel program allows very generously for the mentee to spend up to two weeks in the mentor's home uh, laboratory, either learning uh, new techniques, um, looking at data that can be published, designing studies, and of course they both come back and report at the Young Investigators Forum um, at the next easel meeting. Uh, what has surprised me is that I thought when I was asked to be a, men a mentor that I would receive as a mentee somewhere from Slovakia or the Ukraine. Somewhere where in my mind I perceived they perhaps didn't have the same facilities as we had. But my mentee is from Denmark. And so when she was first appointed, I thought, well, I'm sure there wouldn't be much I could help with there. But it has been such a surprise. Denmark has all the facilities that you could want, but what it doesn't have are patients. It's a small country. Um, it has a limited number of individuals with chronic liver disease. And that brings up its own problems, which are very, very different to the problems you might have somewhere less developed. And I think that there are lots of things that we are going to be able to do uh, working within those exigencies and actually developing for my mentee means to deal with that and get around it. Thank you.